Hello, nice to see you again on this video. How are you? Today I will guide you to create a very simple but also very powerful metal welding machine. The materials to make it are also very simple. You only need two large magnets, some wire and a 3.7 volt motor. First, you will use wire to wrap around the large round magnet. Note that you should wrap the wire from the inside out, and the distance between the turns of wire should be even. Once I have enough loops, I will use special glue to secure the two ends of the wire. I will do the same with the remaining magnet, however I will use a different colored wire. Note, the number of turns of the two magnets must be equal. Next I used a small 3.7 volt motor. I used an extra flywheel for this small motor. The motor shaft is smaller than the center hole of the flywheel, so I will use tape to wrap the motor shaft. I smeared some special glue on the motor shaft. Then I mounted the flywheel onto the motor shaft. Next I will use small magnets to attach to the flywheel. We will attach four magnets to the four sides of the flywheel. Note, attach the magnet poles opposite each other. I will use a small piece of wood to make a base for this machine. Next I will use special glue to attach the two large magnets to the wooden base. Note, the distance between the two magnets will be larger than the diameter of the flywheel shaft where the magnets are mounted. I will make a leg for this motor out of a piece of PVC pipe, then use special glue to attach it to the motor body. Continue using specialized glue to attach the motor legs to the wooden base. I will smear some tin on the two ends of the two magnet coils. Then use a soldering iron to solder the two ends of the wire together. Use electrical tape to wrap the wire joint tightly. Two input pins of the motor I will use connector to solder to it. For the last part I used a soldering iron and a ground clamp. The solder wire I will connect to the red coil of the magnet. Before connecting we should remove the end of the wire exposing the copper wire. Wrap the two ends of the wire tightly together, then use electrical tape to seal the joint. Do the same with the wire portion of the grounding clamp.
please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. I have completed the steps to create a welding machine. Now we can put it to use. I will put a soldering iron into the soldering iron to use. Next I will use a 3.7 volt battery to activate the motor to run. While the motor is spinning, we can use the soldering iron to weld. I use two galvanized pipes to test the welder. Great, I welded two zinc pipes, very strong. Weld burns very well. I continued to weld, the light from the soldering iron brightening my eyes. Look at the weld, isn't it nice and strong? I will disconnect the battery from the motor, then try again with the soldering iron. Can't re-solder. Then I reconnected the battery to the motor to make the motor spin, and continued using the soldering iron to solder the zinc pipe. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.